internet, it's Mike with Mike Jones Knife and Tool and uh, today is uh, finishing up the little broad axe restoration. That was easy, it's all done. Um, I, I put a handle on this thing yesterday, I was all set to uh, film it and everything like that and uh, my battery died uh, on my camera so uh, I was far too excited at the prospect of finally finishing this guy and putting it to work so I couldn't help myself, I went ahead and did it anyways. But it's nothing uh, more exciting than my other handle shaping video. You know, you draw it out, cut it with the bandsaw, shaped it with a rasp. It actually, once I had it cut out with the bandsaw, I probably shaped this thing in about 15 minutes with a couple of rasps. Went really nice and easy. Um, and I'll explain to you the shape. So since the last video, it has been my birthday, hence my nice new apron. But here's, uh, here's the idea behind the handle here. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that there's uh, an axe very similar to this one made by Grand Sports Brook that uh, is uh, just, just a small, broad axe, and it's it was my favorite tool. I got to use it in Fort Mac, um, restoring some old log cabins, and it was just my favorite axe to go to. Uh, all the guys on the site kept stealing it from each other because it's just the ideal axe for any type of shaping short of... Uh, a major broad axe for, for shearing off entire sides of logs so the little guy was awesome so when I found this I was really excited and that's why I got right to restoring it but the little Grand's Force had a handle very similar to this one and uh, I looked all over the place on the internet um, I tried to email uh, Holtz Brooks which is the manufacturer of this axe I also emailed uh, Holtaforce which is uh, I think maybe their parent company or something like that. I didn't hear back from any of them. I looked all over online. Um, the only th the other axe like this one that I came up with a photo of was just another restoration. The guy had put another handle on it, so it wasn't the original. So I couldn't find the original axe handle, but really I was just hoping it would be like this anyway. So I just went ahead and, and made one like this. Um, the beauty of this axe shape, as on the Grand's Force axe, is just the simplicity of it. It doesn't have a ton of shape to it. The whole thing is is very much just slim and straight. Um, obviously the sweep, I really like that. It's just you generally you're holding the axe way up here at the head anyways. You're never back here swinging the thing. It's for finer shaping. You're maybe back here halfway down the handle. So the rest of it's really just for um, balance or, um, or just to pop the thing into a log while you're not using it or whatever but it's just there just for just for the balance so you don't need a lot more length than that and it doesn't need to be anywhere near your work so it's swept up and out of the way so nice it's super comfortable it really works well um, and then it's just it's it's slightly I, I left it slightly offset to match the uh, the offset of the bevel as you can see this one's a like a directional uh, broad axe it's meant to be cutting on one side um, so I, I kind of matched that a little bit with the handle but um, I didn't want to leave it too far offset the the eye itself as you can see is pretty offset from the actual edge itself so um, I went really simple with it and uh, it shaped up and it came together really great it just it's got such such good feel to it and I can't wait to swing this at something I just got to put a little hone on the edge and uh, make a really simple little leather mask for it. It's not going to be much. I probably won't even bother videotaping it. So take this as the culmination of this uh, restoration. So for all intents and purposes, she's done. And I can't wait to swing it at a log. Um, stick around. My next video is going to be restoration of this old draw knife. And uh, I'm collecting all these things together. I built myself a little... Um, toolbox it's actually a pretty big toolbox it's probably too big um, but to hold all of these timber framing tools that I've been collecting if you're interested I'll kind of give you a rundown on how I built that and how I wish I had built it instead if you're if you're into that sort of thing but uh, collecting lots of these things hand planes block planes um, draw knives things like that and just kind of I'm not putting anything in there until it's restored and sharp and ready to use so the, it's getting filled up anyways that's it from the Holtz Brooks Broad Axe. So thanks for watching and uh, stick around. That draw knife video will be up soon and there's always more to come after that.